Good morning, crazy Christians like me. Um, today I'm going to steal a little bit. This is the word in under five. I'm going to steal a little bit from Stephen Furtick that I watched this morning, which was amazing, of course. And um, I feel like God is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, God is allowing me to watch, you know, random ones. You know, I just kind of pray and, and they come on. Ooh. Anyway, so um, he based it today off of Isaiah 43, 16, 19, and the topic was you are not stuck. And I'm in a place today in my life and I feel like a lot of us from what I hear a lot of my friends and things we feel like sometimes everything we go through we're stuck you know and in a place of just you know nothingness or there's no you know big revivals going on or revelation in our life so Isaiah 43 16 19 says this is what the Lord says. He who made a way through the sea, a path through the mighty waters, who drew out the chariots and horses, the army and reinforcements together, and they lay there never to rise again, extinguished, snuffed out like a wick. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. If you remember... When Moses and um, brought brought the Israelites through the desert to the sea, and God split the waters, and he he killed all the the um, Egyptians that were uh, following. So he parted the Red Sea. You remember, and it killed all the Egyptians and the chariots. And when they finally got across, so Joshua coming now is uh, when he brought them. Okay, God is is reminding now once it once Joshua took over I believe um he's reminding the Israelites once they're there he they're ready to fight and start families and things and and he's he's having them walk around still you know he's trying to remind the Israelites what he has done they want to start families they want to walk around and I mean um fight and you know the walls of Jericho to come down and and uh He's still having them walk around, you know, and this is to remind them of all that he has done, you know, as he's reminding them of what, what the, you know, what he did about parting the Red Sea and, in, in, uh, they, he wants them to learn their, na his nature, you know, and to remind them of his promise and to trust that even in the walking around. Even in the monotony of, you know, the wall not coming down. He's not even giving them, you know, a little bit of it coming down. So that they don't rely on what they see, but on the character of God and God's promise. And I thought, wow, that's incredible. Because, you know, we're not stuck. We feel stuck, but we're not stuck. God's just doing it maybe slowly to encourage and build our faith. And Philippians... 4, 12 to 13 says, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in one. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. And um, that I, I, I read and looked up for myself because that is so where... I am personally, and I think a lot of us have been through the ups and the downs. You know, we've had much and had little, or had little and had much, and have much, or have little. And I'm in a season in my life where I'm fully trusting God and standing in the, the you know, in that place where the trust has to be built, and it's taking a long time, and that's okay. But something else Stephen Furtick said was, you know, it would be really sad if we're running, you know, we're walking in these laps or running these laps in these, in this, this, this like wasteland. It feels like I'm par paraphrasing whatever he said, but I get it. You know, if we stopped and gave up before that last lap, before the walls of Jericho come down, you know, and it began for us. So in, 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 in a, a 12 step program, we like to say, don't quit before the miracle happens, you know, and for my life, I sit, I have to trust. So I encourage you, if you're feeling like God isn't working, he is. You're not stuck. Keep moving forward. And God bless you all in crazy Christian land because we are all nuts. And uh, our love for the Lord is nuts. So it's wonderful. And I love you all.